I work for New York Public Library and we're honored to have this wonderful Dada event today. So I wait for all of you to have fun, to be you, to be creative. And Kat and Peter, thank you so much for doing this. We thank love you. this. This is this is our life. If we do this every year as a labor of love and a labor of creativity, and this is our currency. Uh, so uh, this is how we spend uh, uh, out in the world and, and what we give to the world. So we're very happy to be here uh, with Metanon 17. Uh, and the theme is Peace Fire, which uh, lets us uh, peace, fire, peace, fire, peace, fire, peace. peace. Cease fire. Cease fire. Cease. 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 Peace. Cease. Peace. Cease. 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 Peace. Peace. What happened to my? Where are we? Yay! We give up. We give up. We give up. Cease. Cease, 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 peace, cease, peace, cease, peace, cease, peace. Okay, welcome to the 2023 virtual Dada International Salon, uh, co-hosted by us here at Three Rooms Press and New York Public Library. I'm Kat George, and this is Peter Kolak. And we are so thrilled to be presenting performers from our, that are also contributors to our Dada journal, Mentanat. It's an annual journal of Dada, contemporary Dada writing and art from around the world. Today, we have performers from over 11 countries, and we're going to be excited to present their work to you so that you can get an understanding of what goes into the journal that is published every year. So, Peter, why don't you go ahead and introduce our, our first guest? Should we have our first guest or should we talk about our Let's talk uh, about our Peace Fire? Let's or, talk about our Peace Fire. Yeah, our theme this year was Peace Fire. Um, and very timely right now, which uh, everybody is talking about uh, ceasefire, uh, this very moment uh, in so many different places, uh, that uh, Peace Fire became uh, some sort of uh, a, an an antidote to uh, needing a ceasefire. Uh, this is our introduction. When a war ends provisionally, the agreement is called a ceasefire. But when peace ends, there is only war. Ultimately, though, when was there ever really peace? War and peace are codependent. What might be best would be peace fire. And we celebrate the idea of peace fire. We, a global community of contemporary data artists and writers stand up against the war that never ends and the peace that never comes, knowing that the provocation is simply selling fear and that peace would make less profit. So we choose to make less profit with this. This is our currency. This is our creative uh, side of the scale. We add to that side, which has bullets and guns and tanks and bombs. Well, we're going to add so much that we're going to out outweigh the other side one of these days. We're just going to keep doing it. So, and we're satisfied and 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 fulfilled doing it. So, we've got uh, fifteen different contributors from around the globe that were, are joining us right now. And I'm gonna uh, uh, our uh, Ukraine uh, 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 contributor Vladimir Bilik is uh is not able to join us but he sent a video and we're going to play that video a little later on so he would be number one so number two since we're going uh in alphabetical order would be michael george briggle so please michael take the stage Speak it up. there he is you hear me <laughs> from berlin yeah here i am peaceful and fiery as ever hi thanks for listening um First of all, it seems that uh, talking about peace, writing about peace, making art about peace, making books about peace is more important than ever. So thank you, Kat. Thank you, Peter, for compiling this book. Mm. And 
thank you for including my work, which is on, uh, let me see, page 22. What I did is um, I um, look for pictures of different doves, made copies of them, then dismembered those copies and glued them together again to get kind of a Franken-dove. And then I took a roller and a lot of ink and rolled this stuff over and over and over and over again until it lies bleeding. It's uh, the mother of all pea stuffs under a heavy peace fire. And it lies bleeding surrounded by a poem which I printed in rubber stamps and which I will read in two languages, first in English, then in German. I think um, peace cannot be sung in enough languages, so two will have to do for today. It is so peaceful now that all is quiet again, finally. After even the dripping ceased, the setting sun makes the deep dark red glow once more and coagulates it almost in the shape of a dove. In German it goes, es ist so friedlich, Jetzt, wo alles still ist, endlich wieder, wo selbst das Tropfen aufgehört hat, die sinkende Sonne, das tief dunkle Rot, noch einmal aufglühen und fast in Form einer Taube gerinnen lässt. Thanks for listening. Peace. Thank right. you. Thank you very Michael much. Michael Zillers Bregel. Thank you so much from Berlin and, right. and, and bilingual there. Very thank you so much for and like you said, we can never have it peace in enough languages. So that's right. Uh, feel free to peace fire journal. We've got more light on this now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the book now. Right. Okay. Uh, as as you uh, might have uh imagined i'm a mildly optimistic person so too much light just uh, does not fit me good it's okay okay uh, we we aren't looking for converts believe me uh, uh you you are you and next, whomever you are yeah. most comfortable being you're part of our dada family my friend there you go okay all right so are we uh next, bringing up uh, yeah, next another up, uh eminol uh, busan i remember a couple of years ago eminol you created a collage and and I'm waiting again for something just as uh, original as that. I don't want to put you on the spot, but uh, nice to see you. And Eminol is in uh, Spain. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Hi. Hi. Uh, I just wanted to to make the same this year. I also have the the blackboard without anything, and I wanted to put some music and started to create. Okay. Okay. Would you like? Yes. Excellent. Great. <laughs> uh, I, I am using a poem from a Catalan uh, poetist, and uh, the background song is uh, some flamenco with uh, techno music. I wait. I. Et donas la sua corona a un rei i el cetre de plata i son mantell d'escarlata i son trono enjoyellat. Per a ser rei deixaries tes balades amoroses ni tes muntanyes frondoses ni ton joiós d'obregat. 
Si prometes un rei moro, perles riques i galanes, i son bordell de sultanes, i son palau encantat, daries, veite, la dolça cabanya que el ven orella, ton llit d'herbes que es porneja lo caudalós llobregat. Si et regalàs, gaiter, un màgic, sos castells de núvols blaus i sos follets i palaus d'estrelletes esmaltats, oblidaries per ells les neus, les boires, los rius, les fresques nits dels estius, les nines del llobregat? No, nineta, puix més valen ma gaita de drap vermell i mon capot que el mantell d'un rei de perles brodat. I més que els palaus molons val ma cabanya enramada amb les flors que m'estima la roba del matí al llobregat. I molt més que els castells màgics de núvols blaus mon seny val amb ses roques roques de coral i amb son front i un avant. I les fredes nits d'hivern en què em sorprèn lo nou jorn, referint del foc en torn i rondalles d'en llobregat. Puix per més que li donàs un rei, són sempre de plata, i són mantell d'escarlata, i són tron en joiellat. Fins de ser rei deixaria, per ses trobes amoroses i ses muntanyes frondoses, lo gaiter del llobregat. A mi sempre m'ha impressionat la dedicatòria que Joaquim Rubio i Ors, a punt de complir els 70 anys, va voler posar a tota pàgina com a encapçalament de la nova edició que es va fer de les seves poesies. La dedicatòria, que també podeu veure en el seu format original, deia això. A Catalunya s'ha ben volgut a pàtria, tan desgraciada avui, de caiguda i malmenada, com gran, respectada i poderosa fou en els antics temps, gràcies a sa fe en Jesucrist, a son digne respecte a sos comptes reis, a son amor inalterable a sos cucs, dedica a aquesta nova edició de ses poesies catalanes, donada a llum per a commemorar el 50 aniversari de la publicació de la primera d'aquelles, el 16 de febrer de 1839, el més entusiasta dels seus fills i el més humil dels seus coneixers, Joaquim Rubio i Nord. Volia deixar constància del dia exacte en què per a ell va començar la seva gran aventura. El dia que es va publicar al diari de la Barcelona, el poema que us acabo de llegir. En aquella data, Rubió tenia 20 anys i, gràcies a la seva amistat amb Joan Cortada, se li havia presentat l'oportunitat de publicar al diari un poema cada mes durant un any o dos, amb una continuïtat que ben segur cridaria l'atenció de bastants lectors. I si demanàvem qui era aquell gaiter del Llobregat i ningú ens ho podia contestar, millor encara, perquè el seu doni em faria creixer l'interès per aquella sorprenent novetat. Amb aquesta acció havia encetat un nou camí pràcticament en solitat. Quan dos anys més tard va recollir en un volum totes les poesies publicades fins llavors, la Renaixença estava fent una de les seves primeres grans passes. És un fet, doncs, que aquest poema va marcar tota la seva trajectòria i que va ser crucial per com, a partir d'aquella edat, la data va anar evolucionant la poesia en català. Moltes gràcies per escoltar-nos. Si us agrada la feina que fem i ens hi voleu ajudar, cliqueu al botó de subscripció.
<laughs> I finished. Okay, I I will show you. Wait. Ah. Uh. Beautiful. Wait. Okay. I, I, I wanted to to finish when the music stops, so it finished okay. right now. Right. I I don't know if you can see. Wait. Wow. Wow. This, oh my gosh. What do you what Beautiful. would you, what would you call this piece? Oof. Oh, I like it. Okay, thank you so much, Emmanuel Poussin in Spain. A pleasure. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Um, we need to put on. We're going to go out of alphabetical order and bring on Cenko. I forgot I was supposed to put him on first. Cenko Gulan from Istanbul, Turkey. So Cenko, you're up. Okay. Hey, hey. Hello, Cenko. You're on mute. Take yourself off mute. There you go. Okay. Nice to see you, Jenko. Okay. We can't hear you. Can you? Okay. Jenko. Jenko. All right. Well, Thank that you. was Jenko. His piece was a lobster man, and uh, he's a Dada lobster man. Uh, yeah, but maybe he's back. Yay! Yeah. Very you, good. Jenko. We love you. And uh, you've got an art opening tonight, huh, or something? All right. Okay. Yes. Go, go knock him dead again. You, you slayed everybody online, and now go yes. do it live, too, okay? All right. Thank you so much for Thank joining you, us. Jacob. Istanbul, Turkey. Jenko Gulam. Officer. Yay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Okay. Who's next? Peter? Next, we are bringing up Dario, Roberto, Violi, and Milan, Italy. So, Dario, there he is. Hello, Yay. Dario. Oh, nice to see wow. you. Formed together nice in to Rome. See. We performed in Rome and in Zurich, so uh, yeah, we've got a, a so third fun. time to charm all right. with Dario. Dario, take it away. It's all yours. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Uh, I'm cheerful to be here with you again. Uh, 
I enter with this collage, uh, maintenance, focus on uh, kids, uh, you see kid drawing, uh, Christmas boxing paper, kid drawing and uh, a target and uh, some other piece of paper and poetry and vinyl. Uh, thanks for being here and into maintenance. Uh, I wrote some line for today for you. Hope uh, translating, we try. Okay, is the voice of a father. And uh, this father is saying, uh, shame on you. I, you refuse uh, cease fire. You player that never let the kids win. First prize is a spider. Runners up, they win difficulty. You governors are forgetting we feed babies with bottles of bullet milk, which no one can digest anymore. We are wolves with wings overlooking you from the top of the ruins, forced there above journals, photographic clubs, above nothing where rats can't bite us. In the lap, a baby wipes his nose with the UN resolutions. What's the value of earning Peace Nobel Prize assigned to those who shake hands and with the same hands, he pushes tanks for kill his brothers. Stop now, stop. Stop telling us the Pope has flu, me I have the flu today. Uh, and God see them behind the storm, scared by Iron Dome. Uh, for Christmas, no rubbish uh, to throw in the garbage. We'll boil fish bones too, playing with the nail, rocking oars. Uh, proud, because our art is clean. Smiling, real smiles. We're still not tired to live this life. So playing with, stop playing with phosphorus fireworks. We are calling every day for setting the peace fire. Now go down, guys. Uh, I break my glasses, they became Dada by itself. <laughs> That's it. Wonderful, Dario. Dario. Get well soon. Drink the baby's uh, formula. Peace, uh, fire. Uh, uh, and I love your uh, hobby horse. Fire everywhere, guys. Ethiopia for my family. Everywhere in the world, the civil war. Too much war. The first are kids. Uh, we corrupt the kid with our being evil. So uh, if we fall a bit more. Uh, the kids behavior maybe we learn something from them isn't it that's true we can we can only hope and keep adding to the other side of the scale you know that's that's all we can do thank you so much Dr. thank you Dr. Bye -bye. all right we're gonna we're gonna jump out of order here since we've been so male centric we're gonna bring in our first uh woman uh contributor and that would be sandra gia in spain two hours from the coast. So Sandra, <laughs> please join us. Uh, we're putting you uh, one out of order. So uh, right. thank you, Sandra. Welcome, Sandra, Gia. Thank you for having me. Good evening, everyone. Uh, for this year's edition, I made uh, a collage. This is it. Um, it's called Body Language and um, it's been inspired by a personal story because I'm a first immigrant. My family on my father's side, they left Spain during the civil war or because of the civil war. And they were refugees to France. And my piece speaks about the trauma stored in the body that stays from generation from genera to generation and also uh, the use of collage and art is for me a way of healing and reconnecting with the body and feeling and also 
paying tribute to my ancestors. And um, a year ago, I returned to Spain, to the village where my family is from. And this is a reconnection with the land and a healing of the land as well. And um, I'm going to read a poem I wrote that is also a completion and accompany the collage. The poem is called The Weight of Tears. Dreams wither, ungrieved, heart, pendulum clock, swings with the weights of history. Brave and dignified, my grandmother, unshaken her words, unshaken her composure, she notices my damp eyes. No llores, Perla, do not cry, Pearl. The tears we don't cry sneakily leak into our bodies, drop by drop. They lock our throats, taint our vision with gray, bend our spines, squeeze our ribs, suffocate our hearts, armor our wombs. My grandmother's tears got crystallized in her kidneys, a little jar full of stones she keeps as a trophy. The land of my ancestors speaks to me in dreams. Your body is my body, she whispers. Bare hands dig the white clay, no roots to be found, just rocks, more rocks, and a committee of vultures, swift and silent, circling the skies. A tickle in the corner of my eye, the left eye, always the left eye, lifted from the abyss, carved, grounded, polished, ceremoniously at the edge of the edge, free fall, rolling through the topography of my cheek, breaks to the upper lip, taste of sea rattle in the bones, the stomping of the matriarchs. A rosary of pearls waters the desert. Our prayers have been answered. Thank you very much. Sandra, Thank beautiful. you, Sandra. That was beautiful. And, and Thank you so uh, much. And I guess it's quite a journey for you to be home in, in your uh, family's homeland. You know, you're uh, in your home right now. Uh, but we, when we first met you, you were in Malta. Am I crazy? Or, uh, I think, yes, I was in Malta. Malta. Yes. And then you went to Italy? or No, to Greece. Greece, that's it, Greece. <laughs> then Two you years went... ago, I was in France. And right. this last then you were in, in France, France, and now back to... So you made the, the, the opposite journey, basically, right. huh, from France. Exactly, but if we could talk a bit longer about my story and the story of my ancestors, that's exactly that. <laughs> Wow. So you really got it, Peter. Thank you. <laughs> it's uh, good to share, uh, you know, your vision uh, with us and with everyone out there. Uh, we'll have this forever be through the New York Public Library. So yeah. people will be able to share uh, your experience. Uh, thank you for the invitation. And, and, thank and you thank so you much. for joining us. And, and thank mm -hmm. you for being a member of our Dada family. Uh, right. So we're going to move on to uh, our next contributor. Uh, from the UK, and it's Massimo Fantuzzi. We worked with him in London. Come on, Massimo, come on up. Hey, hey. Hello, Peter. Hello, Kate. Hello, so, Massimo. It's, it's lovely to see you again. You look fantastic. Right, I'm on my mobile. I apologize. But, okay, so I will read the first poem, who is in, uh, who is in a lovely issue. There you go. Heads, dictating the stride, we are at the contrariety of tempo, of folds and refolds, and we just bow. Home is the whole, the hill the shelling has remodeled into crusade. Oh, the stone, grinding time and patience into flower, the live east in unbounded flow, 
purple tinge saliva summoned from somewhere, flashing shards of life, dust, soot, new gold. Brushes in faith and tapestry, plunges over resting harmonies, shattered counterpoints, those swimming lessons still looming. As ceramic tiling goes, a medicinal taste grazes the back of my throat. Flouting peels, journeys, this badland sparring new, solid footwork routine. Green gas mask from inside the smoke rising like a rolling shutter on a November fog. Disenchanted. My second poem, it was present in Berkeley Poetry Review, and again is... Um, is curtain on the theme of, um, shall we say, good and bad neighborhoods. New tenants, we are at your front door. Soak wet tails, muffle scent of foliage, impromptu you their arrival. About the cobblestone driveway, the runaway of carpets, ornamental branches for a recite of grasshopper flourishing hall and stair, where there should have been one. Soak wet tails, muffle scent of foliage, impromptu you their arrival about the cobblestone driveway, the runaway of carpets, ornamental branches for a recite of grasshoppers, flourishing hall and stairs. Open! Men, my third and last Poem is in front of us. Hope you can see it. And uh, yes, again, about uh, trespassing, about boundaries, about borders, about frontiers, and about dogs barking. So here we go. Dawn's Gate, Icardo Road, true story. Dogs at the park, bar to defend an intangible fence and don't illusory in truth. Guilt knowed the entire night, no one in the block could manage any sleep. Here we are. Uh, what, what one is that? Perfect. Thank you very much, Pete. Thank you, God, for having me again. And I really hope I will see you soon, you know, in person again. Will we'll be Thanks back in so London much. next year at about the same time. So, and our uh, our new theme that we can uh, open up about, and we're still pushing uh, the old one here, but we will have a submission period opens up January first, twenty twenty four, through April first, and our new theme will be uh, plutocracy, uh, which you know, just as we say, this the 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 economy no longer serves you know human. The human race it just doesn't do it it's a business and we're going to give business the business All that's right. what uh, our plan is doing uh, right that's we're going to focus on peace yeah. fire well, peace fire still and uh we and, and and another thing we've been talking about i wanted to mention is you know you never hear about uh we're moving along uh, mm -hmm. you never hear about like the 600 going down the hill pulling out the the, the sabers riding the horses down to certain death uh for 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 you know for the love of no god you know you ever hear about 600 atheists who went down and tried to kill somebody no it's always in the name of some god so that's something we got to think about to find peace don't look that way because you're only going to find war all right so let's move on we have fausto fausto where are you come on up Hey, hey, Fausto, Fausto ah, in, uh, in uh, Spain, hey, in, uh, in Bilbao. We don't hey, see you, though. Oh. We just see Thank you. Thank you. I am to get ready. I take uh, a bit on time to get ready, and then... Uh, oh, so you're not ready. Yet. And then uh, I will... Uh, Could start. you come back later? Family, wait, eh? wait, eh? wait. Hi, there he is, <laughs> Fausto. Of course, I knew you'd be there. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> you know, the austerity, you know, well, uh, uh, this is what, uh, what I did. 
<laughs> this is what I did. And uh, now I do something more. You know, for all of you, I just said to, I will be very short, but very uh, strong. Yeah? So I start. Oh dear. Sometimes I have a problem, you know, because uh, the materials works, don't work, but you know, are they? Oh. Hold on, my dog. Ah, okay. You know, but it uh, doesn't work probably, you know, because, uh, you know, bad time, bad time, but, uh, you know. Uh, uh, because these uh, are uh, old stuff and sometimes uh, don't doesn't work. Uh, 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 you tell me when uh, because I didn't watch uh, it's twenty nine uh, nine past twenty uh, when, when I start. I don't know. Oh my God. God. Nah. You know, uh, because uh, uh, soon we'll be, we'll be, ah, soon we'll be, ah. Christmas. Everybody party. I, um, for example, I could do this in different way, you know, but uh, you know, I I like it. I like it. You know. Like my fire. Mm -hmm. You see, it doesn't work because um, I'm very old. You know, I should uh, spend some money for uh, technology, you know, but uh, hey, I'm there. I did too much. Uh, it's very hard there. Eh? Uh, the last two. Ah. Uh. Ah, fair, 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 because uh, yeah. also done because he not I don't eat. Are they? Very good. Okay. Thank yeah, Fausto Grumpy from Fausto. Oh, He's right. with us here. Uh, wow. Wonderful wow. to see you, Fausto. So to see you. Hopefully to see you next year live somewhere. Uh, yeah. We hope so. Yes, we'll see you live. Okay. Uh, we'll still alive. We'll be we'll be live. Right. Ah, good. Okay, right. my good friend. Good to see you. Thank you for joining ah. us. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna put on four uh, of uh, four women in a row. Uh, I think. Uh, okay. yeah, Vinny and yeah, four four in a row uh, since we've been uh, male heavy on this particular <laughs> show. 
Uh, we're gonna. Who's our first? Woman? Our first woman is Bonnie Joy from uh, Lake Lucerne, uh, Lucerno in uh, Switzerland. Bonnie, come join us. I'm looking for Bonnie. She's here. I know. There she is. Thank you, Bonnie. Okay. We were together in Paris and in uh, Zurich, so uh, we're together for a third time as well. Now, so, those times were wonderful. So sure. happy to be here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yay. So Fausto, it's really hard to go after you. I'm not going to light any balloons on fire. Um, my uh, piece okay. is on page 91, if anyone wants to read along. Uh uh, I'm just going to read my piece in the book. Beckett Shanti Baguette. If anyone knows anything about or has any experience with baguettes, please let me know. Is it silently accepted that peace is constructed like a silk handbag for a baguette? If it weren't for the baguette, bread riots might have come to nothing. Billionaires think they can purchase peace, but carbon capitalism is a very strange bread. What do vending machines have to do with the mortality of baguettes? The smallest wormholes are accepted as currency so the stalemates won't go hungry. I can transform my procrastination by tearing a piece of baguette and eating it in the streets of the movie sets of Paris. Anyone in the vicinity of notable stealers of baguettes knows they are peaceful. Yoga poses are not expected to trigger peace. The dove has been ignored and made into a baguette. Linda once wrote, my peace is at peace. Is that what Beckett meant? They both created a spell with a baguette, which in French means wand, water, flower, and crusted elite. Thank you. Boy, thank Yay, you. Joy. Thank you so much. Reading your piece in Mennon 17. All right. All right. Thank you so much. It was thank so great you. to see you too and hang out with you. And yeah. Toby, yeah. What time we had. All right. Yeah, you have to come back. We, we will. We'll be back. All right. See you next time. All right. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Now, uh, you're welcome. Uh, now we're bringing up. Uh, uh, first time member of the family from Berlin also, I think, Inna Kresnoper. So please, Inna, come on. Hello, Inna. Very nice to meet you. Happy to join the family. <laughs> okay. and, and we're happy to have you, believe me. All right. Yeah, so uh, my piece at uh, the page 183, and uh, the poem itself is from March 2022. Uh, visual piece a little later. And um, I was writing it when we were expecting a family from Ukraine to join to live with us. And they would bring five cats with them. And we already had three. So somehow we had eight cats for a year in our place. And uh, later on, they found their own place. And yeah, the piece is in German. German isn't my first poetic language, and uh, not also the second one. Yeah. I will just read it. Was hast du zu sagen? Was hast du dagegen? Was macht das Sagen? Wie ist es mit der Macht? Was ist dazwischen? Wohin mit dem Sagen? Hast du alles gesagt? Was bleibt in der Tasche? Kann das Sagen nicht mehr versteckt sein? Wo ist Masche die Katze? Sie ist irgendwie versteckt. Es ist laut daneben. Viele haben was zu tun. Es kann sein, dass Masche bald neue Freunde macht. Andere Katzen, die eine breite Bewegung gerade versuchen. Wie 
breit ist das, wie dein ist das Sagen. Sag mal nein, sag mehrmals breit mit dem offenen Mund. Thanks. Thank you, Ina. Thanks for joining us today. And thanks Thank for submitting. For and please, home. please send us and send us something for the next uh, uh, issue. Thank you. Yeah. January 1st through April 1st. You want to. Right. Yeah. So okay. here we go. All right. So we're going to move on with uh, uh, someone from uh, Brussels, Bene Kusanilla. So please, Bene, join us. Hold on, I'm looking for Betty. Oh, uh -oh there she is. is. Uh, uh, hi, Betty. All right. She was with us in Paris and in Zurich, Zurich. as well. So nice so, to see you again. A third time's a charm again. All right. Hello, Betty. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. So um, thank you, Ina. Was kann ich noch sagen? Ich, I'll have to say no. I can't say bright with an open mouth, but that was beautiful. And my son is in Berlin at the moment. Okay, um, so I wrote a poem on page 237, but you'll have to take a look at it more than listen to it. And I'll read another one that I rewrote this weekend. As some of you may know, peace is, is one of my jobs. I'm a peace activist, a paid peace activist. And um, yeah, times are hard. But uh, we have to keep going, and I think peace will be as long as we want summer for us, as much as we want summer for the next one, the next person. It's a golden rule, you know. The walls cracked. The walls cracked with eggshell when I tore them down. Knock, knock, who's there? My dreams haven't changed, no joke. Oh, well, they did. Nobody complained. Yet in their genesis, a dollhouse on a hill, I have washed upon that shore again. Cloud nine now appears as a monument. Buses, buses ship visitors on and off. People walk in and out. These waves keep rolling in and out. Still, I will not go back and forth. The land didn't need conquering as much as I. A pick and pay life, no more unsettling than nobody who. It isn't fair that Bob Dylan should have held all the answers and scattered them in the wind. But there is a rhythm, an audible season. It's evocative hues, it's slow falling asleep, the mud under your shoes, your feet's compassion in their coming and going, the thundering of it. When I throw out my anchor and spread my shock absorber arms like sails, to better hear the truth of our neighbors rise from immaculate lawns, profile pics, and fishy markets, to feel Peace march against the wind and advance. Finally, too tired of no life explosion, decay, deep apathy like winter. Just before we come and go, the most insane and newsworthy season of them all, just before streets take over from us in tiny, speechless buds. And you, who pushed me to stop and listen, hum, you see? I know this as you mean. This house we built, our spit and callus that filled its grooves, is too much dollhouse heaven for just you, me, our minions next summer. Thank you. Benny, thanks Thank for you, joining Benny. us. Had Wonderful a, to see you again. Three times in one year. Had a beautiful set, too. Yeah, I like your lovely. set. We should have had the really candles lovely. for Fausto. We would have had an easier job, I think. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. All right. Well, thank you for joining you. us. Um, and next, we're going to bring up from uh, she, uh, from Austria, but uh, I think she's in San Francisco today. Uh, we have uh, uh, Eva Helen Stern, or uh, uh, what's your uh, Eva Wonder name? Woman? Not Eva Wonder Woman. Thank you. Welcome to the Dada family. Hello. Thank you, dear. Hello. Thank you, Kate and Peter. Thank you so much uh, for taking me into the book. I'm on the first page. I felt totally honored. It came totally unexpected. Also, I want to say thank you to Fausto because Fausto gave me the tip to supply and it gave me a big time uh, motivation for my art. So really, thank you so much. So it's on the first page. I show you the picture. And I will make a little performance now. 
organized. Okay. Man. Mankind. Mankind must. Mankind must put. Mankind must put an. Mankind must put an end. Mankind must put an end to. Mankind must put an end to. Oh! We must recreate. Recreate. We must recreate. Recreate. We must recreate peace and return to life. 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 We want to expose the truth. The truth will take that right. So what did you do? Thank you. That was it. Thank you. Eva Thank Wonder, you, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Eva Elliot Stern. Asterisk, 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 asterisk. And one here for Wonder Woman. So however many asterisks you want, Eva, they're yours. Thank you so much. Wow, wow, wow. Thank well, you. We'll see you in a couple of weeks, three weeks uh, on a Sunday, December 3rd in San Francisco. It's right specs, across the street from City Lights. Right across the City Lights. That will be our last live performance of this year. Okay. And we'll be honored to have you with us there. See you there. I'm nice. so happy to see you. Yeah. Thank you. It's yeah. a fun time. I think it's our 10th one. And uh, we'll be, uh, you know, it's a wonderful place to, to do the show. So right. we'll see you in, see bye you in bye San bye. Francisco. Thank you. All right. All right. Okay. So that was four. Uh, now we're going with uh, uh, another reader from the UK, uh, D.M. Rice. So, Derek, where are you? We're going to bring you. There he is. Uh, we oh, were able to Derek perform Rice. in London uh, back on uh, September 10th, and uh, we're doing it again here on November 7th. So. All right. Take it away, Derek. D.M. Uh, concerning Palestine, 20. 23. When I was young, my poor mother would place my brother and me in a bath, and in my imagination, becoming a young poet, I would deem it sovereign will. The splash of hands became bombs carried over crossfire bullets. His riled screams echoed in the millions, and what peace could be assured was broken in the squabbling fissures that competing space contained. Millions in exile. The flat stacks of bodies carried in empty food trucks, bloody constitution on the Sunday morning live stream, starvation and plastic explosives strewn into the clothesline. Nothing returns in right. No lives untouched by barbaric, regressifiable bloodshed than any law decrees. World order in the no state solution absolved of its will to power in the Doppler effect of authoritarianism. To see repugnant consolidations of Western alliance foment such hypocrisy, my silence for the public forum where lives are upended, isolation and individual austerity. What the war delivers, Slaughtered children held like checkmate counterfactuals in an anachronism of rhetorical supremacy. This modicum of indecent exposure in the holy desert, cradle of our uncivilized instinct to metaphysical union. 
and dissolve my meek pretense at liberal humanism, sitting in the cold shower of poverty, clothes laid out on the winter line, stunted in the delusion of the perpetual growth economy, mirage of haste and oblivion, rancorous bedlam for the universal hate, sacrament is a no-state solution, my long-standing advocacy, barely worth the salt to stain my feeble lips, crusted with the weight of a beggar's education, a fire song to yet consume the earth. Holy war. All that's missing is a god to hear their prayers. Earthquakes maw open the untold theocratic states with sadistic rupture. Secular fires are a blight upon the land at odds, circling the trenches with grave faces slack-jawed to contain the dead, innumerable pebbles on the black rock beaches, charred abyss of meaning and forceful thought, the speed to carry missiles to an empty well, contusions in the speech of genocide. Propaganda machines will return our darkest tendencies in kind. AI modalities will spin the arts of madness after there is no progenitor to claim the inputs. Horror at the perpetual motion of an uninhabitable planet. Beseech these myriad sufferings to allegorical meanings they deny. Stuttering ego by the dreadborn will to falter in inadequacy, burning ancient life to sustain an apocalypse, blackwater tyrants counting down their own deranged upswell, hidden in the fracture of contemporary art. Postmodern ideology, they inspire hate against the plebeian masses they engender, a tick in cling lust. How little what thou deniest me is. A life of purpose, fulfillment to speak the God I conjure in a sterile office, professorial, cardigan wearing God of an ochre hue, wine dark sentences that address the weary singularity of thought, ohm, disfunct tenure of my abandoned facet. Machine gun riots in the cage of civilian open air prisons. Myriad spin doctor voodoo doll ineptitude. Effervescent Gnosticism to proclaim this unity corrupt in the way all life is sacred in the fall. Mutual martyrs in Valhalla heaven vanquishing their just cause for the greater good, endeavoring to savor the eclipse that buries us alight, floods over the Tigris and Euphrates to drown the ancient world in justification of the better acts anon. The missing piece of my opaque theology, God missing from the scene to call for judgment of the endless war of man whose defunct image makes for entertainment in the holy cavern. As espoused by Plato, Socrates questions no longer the deviant mind or calls the matter twain which cannot evoke this simple truth to speech at all, but prolongs the guilt collective reason speaks in vanity and glory lost upon the bulwark, bulwark echelon. God missing still as time is death and martyrs bleed in ignorance. All right. Thank you end. so much. Thank you so much, Derek. I really appreciate that. So what a, okay. what a rough time right now. Boy. Yeah. Um, it's... I mean, here we are on on screen, you know, trying to, you know, illuminate uh, the uh, the horror and, uh, you know. That's what we, that's that's what what we, can, we do. can do right here, right now. Thank you. Thank you. Such All a, right. Uh, movie piece yeah all right so we'll see you again next year okay and uh, now our final live performer then we do have a video from vladimir bilik from ukraine who was not able to join us i don't see him on here so let's bring up uh paul r veil and wang lang and uh we're going to have them uh perform a piece from berlin
Hello, welcome. You're still on mute, so you got to turn. There you go. All right. You hear us? Yes. Okay. Let's so, go. This is my plan to finish painting. Yeah. Yeah. No, trust me. And uh, yeah, uh, Wang Lan, she she don't speak. Uh, you don't speak very good English, so I introduce her. She's a, a Chinese woman, an artist living here in Berlin since I don't know how many years, 20 years or something. So and then she showed her piece. This is page, uh, page, uh, what page is it? 148. Yeah, and I show my piece here, uh, uh, here. This is, this is my piece. This is an old friend that we we all uh, you know played together with uh, Kim Becky. I made a scan of him. Oh, oh, this is a wrong number. It is ten years ago. Ah. <laughs> I take the other one. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm very sorry uh, for this. Yes, this number is seventeen. This is uh, this is my piece. This is uh, uh, I'm a. As somebody you know, I'm a sculptor, I educate this as a sculptor. Where is it? Yeah, it's my piece. Huh? And uh, this is a, a, a model for an a, a anti war monument in a, a, a Pentagon in, in Washington. So if some American, rich Americans are out there, you can just pay and sponsor, then we make it. You can see it on page, uh, what was my page again? Uh, it's somewhere here in this amazing book. Thank you to Kath and Peter for having me so many years. And uh, now we'll do our performance, Wang Lan. She's uh, reading a poem, uh, in uh, not in German this time, but reading from her uh, new, new book uh, called uh, The Distant, Ufa, was this Ufa? That's Fana Ufa. That's Fana Ufa. Yeah. The distant shore. It's uh, uh, this, at uh, this place, uh, it's uh, uh, this painting. Yeah, so uh, that's a poem, poem that fits to her painting, actually. Yes. And uh, I uh, go back and do some here in the background. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and this, uh, this book is uh, um, in. Uh, in Chinese and in German, uh, and my painting here. Uh, yes. So, okay. Uh, I read uh, Chinese. <coughs> okay. Okay. <coughs> 一个白色巨浪变成荒芜覆盖了绝望的黑色边缘
，废墟上空，治愈的人间，悲伤与痛苦。Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank Wonderful. You so much, uh, uh, nice, nice job in uh, in the native tongue. We're happy to have. Uh, as we said, we need to know about peace in every tongue, and the more we know about it, the the more uh, uh, we will become peaceful. Right. Yes. That is you. how it is. Yes. The more we learn. The more we become peaceful. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Thank you so much. So, uh, Aliona, how are you out there? We're gonna we're, let's bring up Aliona for just a second. Where is she? Is she? I'm what? here. Yes, I'm here, enjoying the show. How could um, you not enjoy the show? It's crazy, right? Yeah. We're gonna show our video now of our uh, uh, Ukrainian. Uh, 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 Vladimir, uh, Vladimir Bilic, uh, contributor, and then we'll uh, bring you back and and say our goodbyes and 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 uh, I think everything is going correct. It was just wonderful. What a show! What a show. I mean, every year beautiful. it sounds it sounds me how uh, how much everybody uh, in the international show brings to the brings to the Zoom. You know, it's just like it's, it's just, another place. Yeah, it's fantastic. Okay, so now. Yep. We're gonna run that. Uh, we're gonna put on a uh, screen share, and uh, and uh, we're we're gonna play the video that uh, uh, Vladimir sent us. Greetings and salutations, my dear friends. My name is Vladimir Bilik. I'm taped from the great city of Zhdom, Ukraine. It's actually uh, a drawing a rocket strike on them right now, so I'm literally. Uh, risking my life recording this message so you know the thing is real so i hope you're all doing well and by the way i'm wearing sunglasses because i'm very nervous and i look very awkward but you know i managed to be dressed by occasion i'm very lucky to be alive sure i hope you can see at least one word from that um okay so I'm going to read you a couple of poems. Uh, one of them was featured in news this year of the uh, Vietnam magazine. And the others weren't featured in that magazine, but I'm going to read them anyway because they fit the topic. So I'm going to start with the first one. I'm going to share my screen. If that's possible in this thing. Yeah. No, no, that's the poem that was featured in the Vietnam magazine. And it goes like this. Vitriv svist, sister Toros, stvori rotevi brovi. Veo robote, vibra se ta bobe, bov otvori vit fervore. Bov vistip obrez brosti osivus vite obrev. Bober strib pretvi osibis ta bobrovi vivrit brote. So, this poem got made uh like on a fly uh back in 2022 so there was uh back in the day they were like you know getting a rocket strike alarm was a real deal like now most of the rockets get shut down so the threat is you know not as imminent uh but back in the day like back in march uh 2022 like there was a real chance of getting killed by a rocket strike so, and that was uh, one of such alarms, and it was like deep in the evening, probably like, like you know, pro probably early night, some days, and it was like 20 to 30 alarms per day, and it's just going back and forth. So, like, it was one of the, one of the longer alarms, like late in the evening, and there were kids that were just, you know, like panicking from being forced to sit in a basement and pretty much not knowing what's going to happen next and so i started like spinning out some nonsense poems uh you know you know just to kill time you know uh the phone alarm is going to be cancelled and that's how this poem got me like i just you know, freestyle the thing and it, it kind of started working and kind of relieved the pressure so i'm going to read the translation of that poem i'm going to find it okay the howling of the wind 
the system clanks of a pressure ridges, like brows of a mouse, by robots vibrating screen beams, shaking apertures. Whoa, a work of art. Prayed Amzal the bud's outline was whisper weaves into a cliff. The gremel jams out of nowhere. They were fired inside with razor personally. So like it's it's a nonsense poem, so don't make much of it. Okay, so so up to the next one. Dun, dun, dun. Um, let me see, let me see. That one is a recent one. Like I made it uh, just a couple of days ago. It goes like that. Melancholia, pustotu vo me mohit, nedrimani ne trepat plinne bezaminnim horm. And the translation goes like this. It shows melancholy in passing. The frail of an unslumber flows is not so quiet. It's pretty simple and to a point, like you know, nothing to comment. Okay, off to the next one. I gotta find it actually. Okay, here it is. So, this poem, uh, it's from my upcoming book called The Resuit. Uh, it's like confidence man, but uh, a more cheerful manner. So it's a poem written in Ukrainian, and the visual component was made in this particular version by Michael Ozehovsky, Michael Wall. We're making a collaborative project right now, and it's one of that. So that poem got featured in Amina magazine a couple of months ago, and it was written like in uh, late 2022. Uh, right around the first wave of energy greed attacks so i was having a lot of panic attacks and that was my way of uh, kind of relieving the pressure uh, at that point in time so it goes like this Opik. Дебатинні від світ загубився по той бік, повіки трель, хребтом пацери дзвін закрутили. Коси спавах скалка, гаком не виверіть цвьох, синко безизом, корок хмара, груба смуга. And the translation goes like this. One moment. The volcano of the eye get crumbled by cheekbone jumping up and down. The round tatters are catching up downwards while the main rushes out of nowhere. A barn, the ripple's reflection get lost on the other side. Eyelids play a trail, beads roll down the spine round the bell's tongue to incessant drone. The burst of a braid skite, light shrapnel's damp goes inside out, whiplash with a skewed syncope. Stuck like a coke in here, cloud stretches out in a thin radical strip until it fully dissipates. So that's a more impressionistic poem, and it's like a uh, burst out of uh, a 12 hour blackout. Like it was, uh, it started like an early evening and you know, stretched out into a night and early morning. And you know, you have nothing to do, and it's a complete blackness. So. It, the thing kind of writes itself. Well, I get a bit ed edited down uh, to a more coherent form, but you know, like th this whole thing, it's like uh, it's like false fiends, you know, like some uh, abstract images emerging in the pitch black darkness, like that. Okay, so I guess I'm out of my five limit, five minute limit, and that's gonna be it. Okay, hope you're having a wonderful evening and I hope everything is good uh, from where you're performing. Yeah, see ya. Thank right. you. Thank you so much to uh, Vladimir, Vladimir Bilic.
Wow, from in Ukraine. From Ukraine, he recorded that this weekend, and you know wanted to be with us, but the the internet that he has is very uncertain if it's going to be happening or not, or if he's going to be able to have any light on in his house or not. So it's uh, it's it's still a very tentative situation. Look behind us. Freedom oh, Express. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Freedom Express. All right, that's us. Right. Uh, Aliana, come on back, and we'll uh, we'll close her out. I want to say thank you to mm -hmm. Vladimir, who uh, and and Michael George Bregel, Imanol Busan, Dario Roberto Dioli in uh, Milan, Massimo Fantusi in the UK, Sandra G in Spain, Fausto Grossi in Bilbao, Spain, Jenko Gulan in Istanbul, uh, Bonnie Joy in Switzerland, Ina Krasnoper in Berlin. Benny Kustendilla in Brussels, Wang Lang and uh, and uh, uh, Paul Arbel in uh, in Berlin, and also Eva 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 Helene Stern, Eva Wonder Woman in San Francisco via Austria, and, and we have DM Rice, Derek Rice in uh, the UK as well, and Oleona here down the street from us on Sixth yes. Avenue. We're on Bleecker, uh, Three Rooms Press, and the NYPL. Thank you all, all right. so much for joining us and just making this, Thank you, all. Well, you know, one of the most original shows we've ever been uh, a part of. I mean, we yeah. come there live and, and, and it's, uh, you know, we, we should just do it all on Zoom and then do <laughs> what we do on Zoom live and figure that out. So okay. uh, I'm not sure how to, how to present a better uh, uh, afternoon of performances or evenings, of course, where you're at. So uh, thank you again. And thank Aliana, you. where where is Aliana? Guys, thank you very much. I enjoyed that everyone this not everyone, but most of you this time uh, read work in different languages. It's really amazing. Uh, Peter Cat, I will see you tomorrow and stop by for coffee anytime. And okay, international well. friends, have a beautiful <laughs> evening, day, night, morning, whatever. Thank you, thank you, thank so you everyone thank you for having us. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. Okay. And uh, we'll see you, okay? Thanks. Bye-bye.